Well, hello, private practice success community. I hope you are having a fabulous evening wherever you are finding yourself right now. I'm not sure if you can hear um, the insects singing out here where I'm sitting on the deck. Um, this is actually very late for me personally to be live streaming. Today, of course, is day 46 of my 90-day vlog challenge and I've really left it very late today. Reason being that I was doing a pre-masterclass weekend workshop consults today, which is basically where I talk to my masterclass attendees. So I've got a masterclass weekend coming up the end of May, really talking them through the levels of development, where their practice is at, and getting them all prepped and set up for an amazing weekend of learning and growth and implementation. And um, I really, really love it because during the time that I spend with them, I get such amazing insights into their practice and how I can best help them when they come for that weekend. Uh, so that's what I did. Then I got the kids in school and then I did a live stream for my masterclass graduate groups on Facebook. And those were the guys that's already previously done the masterclass and I wanted to do something just for them. Uh, yes, which is why I'm running a bit late today. So the question I have for you today is what do you need? And that's the title of our vlog for today. You know, as practice owners, there's so much stuff going on in our lives. Um, it's very easy to get overwhelmed. But I really want you to take some time out, whether it's tonight or tomorrow morning, and just reflect on what is that one thing that you can either do for yourself, organize for yourself, or maybe it's a task that you can delegate that's going to be a huge maybe burden off your shoulders. Um, so let's say in terms of delegation, if there's a lot of stuff on your to-do list, maybe there's one really important task that you're just not getting to, ask yourself who on my team or who in my life can actually do this for me and then you ask them I know that as practice owners we often think all the responsibility is on our shoulders I'm going to encourage you to ask for help and get somebody else to help you all right it might be you know something um, that you need to do for yourself maybe you need to start some exercise or maybe you need to start to go for a monthly massage what is it that you need to do for you to be able to go I feel so much better because I've now invested this time in me I, I've looked at my self-worth or I've done something that is going to take um, you know a burden off my shoulders and gonna make me just feel more aligned um, and on purpose in terms of what I want to achieve and what I want to do so let's take me for example earlier today I realized what that is for me so um, I obviously work from home a lot I actually converted one of my living rooms into a home office and we call it private practice success hq so it's our headquarters we also call it psych professionals hq because of course i also run the practice from here not that i do so much in the practice uh, but we have our fortnightly management team meetings here and um, I was walking around the house and I, I had a minute of mindfulness, you know, um, at the Psych Professionals, our theme for this month is, is Mindful in May. And I was looking around myself, especially my kitchen, because I've got three kids and I had to do like the school lunches and all of that stuff. And there was like stuff everywhere. It was in such a mess. And um, I know I function better when my house is tidy. Okay, just want to take some water here. That's better. Um, I'm not obsessive, you know. I I can tolerate a messy house. I can tolerate an untidy house, but it it niggles at me the whole time. It's like it scratches at me, and um, uh, I, I can. 
in my my mind there's that little voice that goes Jesus places an estate Jesus Gerda you need to tidy this up what if somebody actually knocks on the door and wants to come inside you're gonna be so embarrassed you know all that type of stuff just want to check if we've got any comments if you are joining me live I can see we've got some live people on here but Facebook hasn't told me who you are um, please say hello in the comment section so that I know I see Fern also just joined at least Facebook is telling me you've joined Fern so welcome so as I was saying um, even though I can tolerate a messy house it still nags at me in the back of my mind and it really feels to me like it distracts from my work that I want to do and from my passion and I just realized that if I can somehow um, be better at uh, or, or get some more help on uh, in terms of staying on top of the housework you know the laundry the tidying up the cleaning and all that type of stuff when I'm working from home it's going to be so much easier to switch off from that part um, and go into HQ into my home office and do the work that I need to do and because it's a living room that we converted there's no doors which means it's easy to come in and out which means I can't close the doors and and almost like mentally and physically block myself up from the rest for, off from the rest of the house sorry that was the phone call that came through so it, it's a bit more tricky so I thought to myself hang on I'm gonna get some help for me to keep um, the house in a more tidy um, order whether that is getting a cleaner or maybe I don't know you know I still need to do the research now a housekeeper type of of person that can come in once a week and you know just go through everything you know help me pick up all the stuff the toys and stuff from the floor and I can already hear my mind going but the kids should be doing that but I know in a busy household it's sometimes just impossible because you tend to run late and then the kids tell you they've got an assignment on the way out through the door or they need something because they're having like a morning tea and they forgot to tell you you need to take three packets of biscuits you know there's constantly stuff happening and although I take my responsibility very serious in terms of teaching my kids how to make their beds how to pick up their toys all of that type of stuff um, and I try really hard to model that to them and to teach them it, it just feels like the house is in a mess anyhow so for me is and and what I want to just really think about the day of the week that I want to get somebody in to come and help me on those days when I know that I really need to focus so that I don't have that distraction and that niggling at the back of my mind in terms of you know the house being in a mess um, because most days I can deal with it really well and for me I've decided that is what I need in my life to make it easier so that I can be uh, more aligned to what I want to do and focus and do that you know my life's best work and, and the stuff that I'm passionate about so I'm going to encourage you to do that for yourself as well is it something that you need to do for yourself is it something that you can delegate you know that type of stuff Fern just shared the video thank you so much for sharing Fern I really appreciate that and for anybody listening to this either live or the recorded version please feel free to share it with anybody that you think needs to hear that message if uh, what I'm saying is resonating with you please press like or the love heart would even be better so that I know that this is resonating with you so really take five minutes and decide what is it that you need in order for it to become easier for you to do that passion and that work that that you love to do and that gives meaning and purpose to your life thank you so much for everybody that's joined me live I really appreciate it thanks um, for being here I see now we've got five people yes yeah, so and now I need to go so um, I'm making set snack witches is do you use that word here in Australia snack witches like where you put um, the bread in that that machine that makes it into like two um, triangles so that's what you make when you've got leftovers and lots of bread in the house so last night's leftovers going on to the bread into the snack witch machine and it's an easy dinner tonight and remember guys as always all you need to do is say yes to having your very own ultimate level 5 private practice and I'll speak to you again soon bye for now